The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. For Sunshine Coast, it is such a draw card for domestic tourism, for international tourism. It's a beautiful part of our South East Queensland corridor and it also faces the potential for congestion as we come in and love the place too much with our own personal transport vehicles. Working with Sunshine Coast Council has provided our research team with a great opportunity to think broadly about how a maturing city can engage with its people and its transport planning to deliver solutions that actually work for locals in having vibrant places to live, work and play, and also places for local to be able to connect to other destinations uh, in and around the state and beyond. So it's been a fast growing city and to some extent it's been growing faster than people realized it was becoming a city. And um, there's still a lot of attitudes around, oh, we're just a collection of beach shacks. Who would need public transport here? But hey, the freeways are congested. <laughs> so, um, and, and the growth trajectory is continuing and the Olympics are coming. So we're now talking about a regional rail line from the coastal settlements to, to Brisbane. The current one is 20 kilometers inland. It's also about improving the public transport system for the local trips. That has basically been culminating in this proposal for a medium capacity transit route. One of the big challenges for this name, its analysis, was to actually look at how can these two different modes, which do very different things, actually support each other constructively. For example, the regional rail line will have an effect to bypass some places because it only has a few stops. The medium capacity transit does the opposite. It actually tries to penetrate these places and also channel a lot of travel movement through those places that benefits those places. In this project, the opportunity to use the SNAMIT study enables us to put an overlay on the community experiences of transport solutions so that we can holistically integrate those transport planning ideas with the built environment ideas. When people can live and work in a place that has easy access to their essential services, allows for spontaneity and fun, and also enables them to do that in a low carbon environment, so using renewable energy and making sure that their greenhouse gas emissions of the built environment around them is low, then we have a great solution and a great opportunity to demonstrate this part of the world as a leader in that net zero outcome. Any maturing city like the Sunshine Coast will require a multimodal connected transport system that provides a heavy rail supplemented by a medium capacity transit system that supports local, more spontaneous trips, such as along the coastal corridor of the Sunshine Coast. The City Council is facing a new urban future. They cannot continue to be a collection of very car dependent areas that are slowly accumulating enormous amounts of traffic and clearing a lot of land. They need to have a coherent strategic plan. They now have one and we helped in that because we were able to model all the different options and what comes out very clear is that if you get a very good public transport system instead of the scattered uh, low quality system that they have now, that that will enable them to focus urban development and create a genuine next step in an urban transition. It will be a very interesting new city that will be emerging. So that exercise was done in a way that needs to create opportunities for funding that public transport system. And that's why we can't give too much detail about all the results, because that feeds now directly into how they can find that money from federal and state and private uh, opportunities, all of which are in the shadow of the Brisbane Olympic Games, which is coming up and is a fabulous opportunity 
to try and help build this new city on the Sunshine Coast. So it's good to be part of that process, to have a very good practical outcome, and I think to test our abilities in the SBE machine to produce useful outcomes that are net zero and produce a, an opportunity for a community to go forward into the next economy.